Hey guys, and we're back. Today's one of the more emotional days, ironically. But we're going to talk about how to really detach from these emotions. Because I know we, we've clarified on this channel that really the way out of this place is a detachment. And particular, particularly from your emotions, from your energy in motion. Um, because it's a detachment from energy. And now these emotions are, like I said, energy in motion. So upon further analysis, we can see that this realm is a positively and negatively charged one, right? Now looking at these charges, looking simply at a thunderstorm, right? During that phenomena, during that situation, there are negatively charged ions in the clouds with a, or no, positively charged ions with a negatively charged ground. And what happens is there needs to be a balance. There needs to be uh, a grounding, right? Uh, it, it needs to come back to that no charge. So what happens is the unifying force is then sent downwards to create a lightning bolt, which is electricity. Now, electricity is heavily intertwined with magnetism and electromagnetism is really the force or the combining element, the, the foundation of this whole holo holographic universe, of this whole simulation, right? And it makes sense, right? It's powered by uh, like a, a computer would be powered by electricity this is powered by electromagnetism and that's what you can say really gravity is as well we are being attracted down here based on our electrical charges and based on the magnetism formed behind that by this principle called gravity or arrows and that's why we're magnetic towards other people or magnetized towards people right it's that emotional charge that we contain. And Zeus is known as the god of thunder and lightning. Right? Zeus is the one in charge of the whole thing. Zeus being Lucifer. Now if we are truly batteries, it means we have a positive node and a negative node. For which they are both equally needed. Now being that there are more entities that potentially feed on the negative node they use that as a sense of power they plug into that side of the battery there are um also positive ones that are likely more powerful now this is again the false positivity of the energy of motion right of the sine wave and lucifer is behind both of those right lucifer doesn't care it's like the, it's like Rick in Rick and Morty when he creates that car battery he doesn't care whether it's positive or negative or, or who's eating what or the simulation happening inside of it he just needs the energy source to power his car battery right? we're just batteries to it we're just used as an energy source here so in that regard whether you are positive or negative doesn't mean you are better than anyone else and we can see how being neutral, how not providing charge to the car battery, to the simulation, will essentially help us be useless to the matrix and then act as a way out, right? As a way out of the energy barrier. For no one that is positively or negatively charged can pass through it, right? You have to be no charge. You have to return like the lightning does to a state of balance and that's why we were born into sin right that's how we collapse the sign slash sin wave because we are not being pulled in either direction anymore okay so practically how this looks is that when something excites you when something creates joy happiness out of you we have to remember that that is fleeting. That is not something that 
lasts, right? It's not fulfilling. It's temporary. And will create an upwards motion in the sine wave, in the emotional uh, spectrum, right? You are then, in a sense, ec ecstatic, right? Filled with love, joy, bliss, whatever it may be. And on the other hand, some other things can pull you downwards. Now, the greater your excitement, the greater your joy, the harder your downfall as well. Okay, and I've talked about this before because entities use this uh, against you. They will pander to your ego so strongly, will get you at the top of, of, uh, of the mountain of ego, just to push you off so you can fall all the way down. Because imagine the energetic imbalance that creates when you're so high up here, right? That's why they send beings to Nirvana, right? That's why beings can still ascend in their false energy matrix because they want them to so that they can say poof and you fall all the way back down but especially here on earth and that's why people will say oh it's not your time yet when they have near-death experiences oh it's not your time yet you're not fully ripe that's what they're saying i've talked about this before you haven't created so much energetic imbalance in you and a polarity in which that can create an imbalance and a feeling uh, a rightness to you that they can feed upon right because they love that they love that that push it creates like i said an electrical current it's energy in motion it's emotion right that's why dramas are so are so uh alluring and, and thrillers because they create ups and downs ups and downs ups and downs and this is how you know women in general work men are more prone to doing things out of reason Whereas women are more prone to doing things out of emotion. That's why it helps to have a vast background of all things, right? Have a little, a little knowledge about everything. The way a woman um, will more than likely be attracted to a man is based on how a man can make her feel, right? It's about the emotional ups and downs that she feels alive because of that. You know, if a man can do that for her, this is a course a manipulation tactic if they're doing it consciously in a sense right but it can it can be you know otherwise as well simply by understanding the notions of attraction that's how attraction works attraction creating polarity that's why one needs to be positive one needs to be negative one needs to be masculine one needs to be feminine there needs to be polarity to have attraction that's where passion arrows comes from okay out of attraction out of polarity they pull each other together. That's why there are two stars in a binary system, usually. There's polarity, and they circle around each other, right? They dance. Although this can, I've seen this happen with magnets of the same polarity as well, where they're still circling, and it's creating an electromagnetic field. But that's a different topic. That's, there are other things we can expand on based on that. But again, the polarity is formed, the attraction, the electric current, the energy is there as it's magnetizing, right? People feel so passionate because of that. And whether you're a man or a woman, you need to know that you are in your feminine state, which is an emotional state, when you are reacting, when you are triggered, when you are arguing, when you are defending yourself, when you are um, fighting even sometimes because you're, you're reacting to a situation that was brought upon you in a very emotional state. You're triggered, right? Your, your emotions are, are taking control and reason is taking a back seat, right? And that's how this matrix will manipulate you. They will send people to provoke you. They will send people to trigger you situations. And, and that's why being so attached to exterior circumstances to materialism to situations will will really um, throw you off your your course of this spirituality because these this emotional detachment and detachment from materialism are very intertwined so pretend you are now apathetic you're emotionally detached to materialism or to, to your emotions. 
yet still being you know heavily goal oriented heavily uh, inclined towards pursuit of materialism of you know conquering things you will become very insensitive and this is where the opposite red pill spectrum falls they become very insensitive to the blue pill emotional side because oh it's the, the, i don't care about my emotions anymore i don't care about people i don't care about women i don't care about anything i'm just focused on myself and goal oriented and i'm gonna do myself right and then you become very insensitive because you, this isn't really a spiritual path you've just chosen the opposite side of the coin and you know obviously the emotional spectrum are still very involved emotionally and they keep reacting to those things and that's why i say these things are intertwined otherwise into becoming apathetic um although that may be a necessary step is not truly the way because what you really need to do is connect to spirit to the inner peace in which okay something has now happened in my life whether i used to deem it good or bad it does not sway me anymore my sine wave doesn't oscillate as heavily as it used to or at all anymore even because i'm so unattached to this place i'm so unattached to anything here that i now feel nothing from it i'm not gaining energy from it because remember you are also gaining energy to your emotions you are feeding yourself people are very toxic and although that can hurt them it also feeds them they gain energy they feel alive oh I was so angry in that moment, but I felt so good, but right? I felt alive. And people feed on false positivity as well. Oh, well, things will just be all right, you know, hyping themselves up or on ecstasy or on bliss. It's another way for them to feed themselves, but they're getting like the smallest fraction of what the entities lying in their astral body feed upon. Now they lie there dormant, but again, they manipulate situations in your life when they need to feed and they feed often as often as one experiences those emotions that's how you can tell in your life right because again emotions are derived from thoughts emotions can create thoughts in your head right that you, you start receiving from these entities but emotions are derived from thoughts thoughts are usually derived from exterior circumstances oh that happened to me blah blah, blah. you start complaining you start tapping into that gossiping or complaining or that black magic emotion and when you go to the root of it which is detachment from the exterior circumstance all of a sudden the thoughts subside and the emotions subside and the charge provided to these entities subside now what does that look like that looks like when something comes to provoke you or someone just like with women women will test you unconsciously or even consciously by having a emotional an emotional reaction around you seeing how that sways you does that knock you off your rocker or are you firm and you know standing your ground in the sense that it doesn't affect you emotionally it doesn't trigger you it doesn't knock you off your balance right so when someone triggers you, when someone comes or a situation happens in your life in which you're triggered, you lose your confidence, you lose your, your state of mind, your reason. And this applies to women and, and men in general. All of a sudden, you've provided a charge. You've provided a reaction. You've provided a focus. You're paying attention to that. You're paying your energy to that. And you're saying, this, is, this triggers me. And this is, I'm going to provide charge to this so keep providing this for me i am easily manipulated by that right that's what you're saying and there's a fine line between standing your ground creating boundaries and providing reactions all the time now this is where healing comes in the idea of healing right one is never truly healed healing is a choice of awareness you are embodying more and more awareness Oh, that person said something incredibly insulting, usually, to someone else. Yet I'm choosing to ignore it because they're not necessarily pushing my boundaries. They're not necessarily impeding on my space, but they're reacting over there. 
that you're having an emotional state of being currently. And if I were to also react to that emotionally, that would only feed the fire. And again, this realm is based on fire. Feed the flame, feed the wolf. When you're feeding that, you're creating energy. You're creating imbalance. And that charge grows, grows, and grows, whether it's negative or positive. If, if, I, if I join in the Kumbaya and sing hallelujah and whatever and create, create all this false positivity i'm also creating charge when i sit there and meditate with huge groups and we all connect to whatever masters or angels or guides i'm creating charge so that doesn't mean you can't interact with the world it doesn't mean you can't be social but you have to be aware of the way you are interacting because every action creates an equal an opposite reaction it's how this world works it's a duality and if you are going to play the game of duality you will be stuck in it stuck in a loop right in and out in and out in and out so healing so you can never truly be healed because the moment you choose to react to something emotionally the moment you lose your sovereignty in that situation is the moment you have now been unhealed. By integrating that shadow aspect of both sides, positive and negative, you are now at peace. Right? Spirit is not an energy. Spirit is not an emotion. It is a sense of peace. It's a sense of detachment. Everything is calm. Everything doesn't need to be uh, interfered with all the time and reacted to all the time. Now, if there needs to be a boundary set, if there needs to, you know, be a disconnect that happens, even better, set that boundary. You are, again, preventing that emotional charge from attaching to you any longer because it bothers you. You know, now if someone is more positive, let's say it's more fulfilling to you, fine, we welcome that in our lives and it creates more of a harmonious union. Yet, you have to be aware, right? Is this person truly aware of themselves? Or are they simply feeding on positivity? Are they, is that how they keep themselves going? Are they attached, right? What is their level of attachment? That's what you need to be aware of when welcoming other people into your life. But, you know, more importantly, focus on how attached you are. Because I've noticed the moment you shift to this neutral perspective, it's like you don't attract positive or negative anymore. It's just you come across neutral, 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 right? In a sense, maybe those also attract each other, <laughs> or rather, they're simply existing, and you can see you can see them more. Whereas when you're positive, you could only see negative, and you're negative, you could only see positive, and vice versa, or similarly, negative only seeing negative. So that's really how you can break out of this energetic matrix and you know even this sense of peace may not be the full truth again because the full truth doesn't exist down here and they've been known and seen to manipulate these things uh, especially for people that have NDEs they can feel a sense of peace right because the moon which is the Akkadian God, Akkadian God sin isn't affecting them anymore as much because I can I can bet you that once the moon is taken out or if the moon was taken out of our our orbit the climate would not be as polarized and our emotions would not be as polarized and the moon plays a very large effect on our emotions so when people leave that lunar system or they in a sense are put in a intermediary place they feel a bigger sense of peace. They may even feel more bliss or ecstasy or whatever, or love. But it's not true. They, they can fabricate these things. And we've mentioned this before. And your diet especially has a very large impact on you emotionally. And we've seen the parasites are the leading cause of diseases. 
these parasites look they're like the demiurge right the demiurge are shaped, shaped like a parasite they're like worms and they they're they're stuck inside your organs inside your stomach kidney whatever liver feeding on you feeding off the food that you eat they're very small that's why i recommend fasting particularly before a full moon because the moon waxes and wanes now when it's in a new moon that's when you usually plant things that's when things have the opportunity to recharge right the moon isn't constantly feeding on you because then it would have nothing to feed off of you would burn off all your resources so it lets you recharge throughout the month and then the full moon comes along and it says oh it's harvest time it's feeding time but if you are precautious and you uh, are ready for that you will fast at least one day prior to this event in which you start clearing all of these parasites and then it has nothing to feed off of you you clear the emotions stuck in your body you know you haven't been emotional the whole month you haven't been triggered all of a sudden you stop being a battery source for the moon at least and for the whole matrix in general okay now there are various other ways to cleanse these parasites through specific herbs and juices and you know things that will require more research on your part but it's something to look into fasting is very very much uh, a useful tactic for this phenomenon because again eating large amounts of food eating very late at night serves to create these parasites within you that then act as the physical representation of these demons whether good or bad inside of you feeding off of you and of course in your astral body feeding off of your emotion all right something to be aware of hope you guys enjoyed some of the inner knowledge today let me know what you thought of the video give it a like if you enjoyed it subscribe and i'll see you guys next time